Have you ever experienced a snow day? The thrill of snowball fights, drinking hot chocolate, sitting in a hot tub across from a monkey, making snow angels. Who was that? You've never made a snow angel? Oh, you've never sat in a hot tub with a monkey. Ha <laughs> ha, well then, meet the Japanese macaque today on Weird in the Wild. To experience our wondrous wintry friends firsthand, let's travel north to the Japanese islands of Honshu, Shikoku, and Kyushu. Here, the macaque's habitat stretches from subtropical forests in the south to snow-capped peaks in the north. They live anywhere from 25 to 32 years old and face few threats other than wolves and humans who encroach on the territory. Commonly known as the snow monkey, the macaque is able to cope with sub-freezing temperatures throughout the entire winter. By the way, the macaque lives further north than any other non-human primate. Monkey see, monkey do. Now, the macaque handles sub-freezing temperatures in the most luxurious way possible. To stay warm and keep up their grooming habits, the whole troop will head to outdoor thermal baths, heated by volcanoes that reach 109 degrees. Psst, ooh, careful! Not only do these volcanic thermal spas keep the crew warm in winter, but it's also a great stress reliever. Ha <laughs> cause boy do these guys need to unwind after a long day. Ah, yeah, that's the stuff. Now, you might think this practice seems pretty human for a wild animal, but the Japanese macaque is not your average monkey. According to research, leaders of the tribe actually do have heightened levels of stress hormones from dealing with conflicts and rivals. This practice helps them chill out, so to say. But these primates haven't been doing this forever. The first reported sighting of this phenomenon was in 1963, near a hotel in Jigakudani. Rumor has it that a lone macaque watched a human taking a dip in the hotel's hot springs, and when the coast was clear, jumped in himself. Ha <laughs> ha! Bold move, mate! I guess it felt pretty incredible, so the whole troop followed suit. Well, I bet you that was an interesting call to the front desk. It takes a village. Macaque troops run deep, with as many as 20 to 40 primates all inhabiting the same area. They're all led by the dominant male of the group, usually the eldest, with the females collectively raising the young. Why, these young ones even play like human kids, swinging around in the trees, annoying their mothers, throwing snowballs and wrestling with each other. Macaques are incredibly intelligent. In fact, they are the only creature other than humans and raccoons who wash their food. How proper! By the way, macaque tribes develop specific vocal accents according to their different regions. <laughs> well, you know I love a good accent. The macaque is very important in Japanese culture. They represent the old Buddhist saying, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. <laughs> well, that's a pretty easy thing to do when you spend your life having snowball fights and relaxing in hot springs. Hey, no splashing by the pool. Ha <laughs> ha, bye for now. <laughs>